got my big girl Emma aboard for this trip across Western Port and she's brought her new Christmas puppy Aspie along for the ride. Welcome aboard dudes. And it looks like a magnificent day for a trip across Western Port. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Well, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Uh, I certainly did with all my family, with my girls and grandkids. We've had a great little time. Um, I've just left the marina at Yoringa and we're heading back down to Phillip Island. Uh, the plan for today is we've got a really low tide this afternoon, just on dusk, and I'm gonna try and get the boat under the San Remo Bridge. All the calculations I've done should say I should be able to do it with about 100 millimetre to spare. So uh, that's what we're going to do this afternoon. So um, we'll just head down there and see how we go. Tomorrow night, uh, my youngest daughter, her husband and her two children, my two grandkids, are coming with me uh, down to Tassie. So um, there's going to be a crowd on the boat, but that should be fun. Uh, we'll head down to Refuge Cove uh, and then to Deal Island and then across to Flinders. So it's about a 10 hour trip the first one and then a couple of 6 hour trips after that in Bass Strait. The weather's looking good for after tomorrow so um, we should be right with that. But the first thing is to get down to um, Phillip Island and San Remo and organise ourselves to go from there. We're just coming up to the uh, San Remo channel now. We're a little bit nervous because um, we definitely don't want to uh, hit that bridge with our mast. But we're just at the, about the bottom of the tide. We've probably got another half an hour of run out left. And with all our calculations, we should get under and have probably about three or 400 millimetres to spare. So that's what we're counting on. Just slow down a little bit, uh, just to, we'd rather be a little bit late than a bit early. It is going to be a little bit tight, but all well, our calculations are right, and we're sort of thinking it may be the bridge, they say 12 metres, but maybe it's a little bit more. Um, we should be able to sneak through. It'd be interesting anyway. I don't think there's much hope of that. I don't think we should have to.
Well, I'm just uh, tied up here at Sam Remo and I'm against the Mary Lou. She's a pretty formidable fishing boat. And um, Jamie and Jim yes. just came down to make sure that I was all right and make sure I wasn't scratching their boat, I think. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're, they're a bit broken down too, so they're looking forward to getting out fishing. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. lovely boat you got there, boys. Yes, thanks, Norm. Thanks. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, all the best for the new year for you. That's right. And Safe adventures <laughs> across uh, the mighty Bass Strait yeah. on your next voyage with yes. the family. Uh, we hope to set cross your path out there as soon as we get her fixed. Okay. <laughs> Good on you, fellas. Thanks very much. All the best. Right. Yeah, well, all the food's been put on. Uh, there's plenty of water on the boat. Well, I hope plenty for six. Never done six on the boat before. Uh, all the clothes are on. We're um, probably uh, about three inches deeper in the water but we're ready to go so the kids have just gone home and uh, they're cleaning the place a bit and they'll come back and we'll head out of Western Port and down towards Wilson's Prom so it's going to be a bit of an overnight trip but we'll do that to beat a bit of wind that's coming and uh, hide in the prom for a little while and then try skipping across to Deal and then Flinders might take us a little while, but um, we'll just see how we go. Anyway, uh, yeah, just go and enjoy a bit of sea time here. Pull all the fenders in. Pull all the fenders in, Ethan. So here's the crew. Where are we heading for, Stella? Tasman. Refuge Cove. Oh, Refuge Cove. Refuge Cove. And when will we be there? Five in the morning. Five in the morning. Are you going to have a sleep? Yeah. I'd hope so. So that's Stella. This is Justin the purser. Ethan the bosun and Frog the uh, second in command. Second in command. Yeah, That's second in command. <laughs> That's in it. First watch. <laughs> First not watch. So we've got pretty good conditions at the moment. No wind to sail with, but it's pretty flat out here, so it's looking good. Like it? Loving it. <laughs> Sunrise at the bottom of Australia. Uh, sunrise at uh, the bottom of Wilson's Prom. We're glad we're here. The wind's just got up to about 30 knots, so. Uh, it's really starting to hook so we douse the sail and we're going to climb up in close to the prom and uh, get out of the wind a bit and we're going to sneak up around the corner to Refuge Cove so hopefully when we get around the corner we're not too exposed but um, yeah it's quite a bit of wind here at the moment but we'll be right once we get in the lee of the land up in front of us. Another beautiful sunrise.
to Wellington Point and we've decided we're just going to skip up around and into refuge. The wind has gone a bit round to the west so um, we'll just hug the shoreline here and get around into refuge go. Still, the ball was local. <laughs> In you go. Not yet. Off you go. You okay? Just get this still. Like the first hop in, but it's beautiful in your wetsuit. <laughs> So what's the plan still? Um, what are we going to do? Find data. Find data. Mm -hmm. Try and find some Telstra signal. Yeah. We're going to go for a hike, have we? Yeah. Let's do it. Where are we going to go still? I can do all that on my own. Up there? Yeah. Up there? Where do you think? If you don't have a boat, you can come and hike in here and it takes about a day. And you can come and camp in here. So, Checked what? our weather report and it's looking like Sunday morning early. We'll get across to Deal and we might have to hang there for a little bit and then cross to Flinders maybe on Thursday, did we think, Dad? Yeah. But good phone reception up here. Yeah. Bit of a hike, but it was nice. It's about a half hour walk. Yeah, about a half hour walk. Yeah, okay. But, but lovely. Just it's up the main track, about half an hour and you get two bars of Telstra. But these flies are a bit of a pain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head back. Yes. Well, a uh, little bit of drama in Refuge Cove tonight. Uh, the wind got up from a northerly, northerly direction uh, about 3 o'clock, I think. And um, we were being turned around a little bit and pretty close to some rocks where we were anchored. So we lifted the pick and we've come across the other side of Refuge. Uh, and got out of the wind and it's a bit more comfortable here so now I'm just sitting up making sure the anchor's dug in and we're not um, we're not compromised on this side of Refuge Cove. Boats dragging, there was a, um, a big lagoon that dragged pretty close to us and uh, he had to up anchor and move as well so quite a few boats over the other side, there's only three of us over this side and it's um, a bit more tenable I think. We seem to be pretty well hooked in and I'll just stay up for a little while and uh, make sure everything's okay. The joys of boating. Well, Refuge Cove has been uh, not too kindly for us uh, this trip. Um, the winds are we've been around to the southeast and uh, it's been sort of blowing in here. And it's been wet all day, just very light rain, low cloud. The clouds right down over the mountains, and got wet towels, wet clothes. Can't really do many water things. It's, uh, all the wetsuits are wet, so we don't want to put them on and go for a snorkel. 
Uh, the boys went for a walk up the hill this morning and had a bit of a look around, but uh, apart from that, it's been just uh, indoor uh, games, about all you can do. Anyhow, um, we're probably going to look at getting out of here and heading to Deal Island tomorrow morning. We have one good morning in Refuge Cove. For the rest of the trip, it has been cloudy and wet with a lot of wind last night. Tomorrow at daybreak, we'll leave for Deal Island in the middle of Bass Strait. Well, uh, we had one really good morning in Refuge Cove. The rest of the time it's been, we've had a fair bit of wind. Uh, it's been overcast and low cloud and light rain. So it hasn't been all that flash. A bit of swell getting in here as well. The wind's dropped right out today. There's no, it's a no wind day. Uh, so we're gonna make for Deal Island. We'll probably have to motor the whole way, but um, it should be all right. We're gonna go out and have a look and just see how See how comfortable or uncomfortable it is, and uh, then we'll plot a course and uh, see if we can get down there. About eight hours, I think. Well, we're off to Deal Island. Uh, we left refuge this morning. The forecast is for very light winds today. There's still a bit of uh, slop left over from the wind we've had, but it's getting better the further we go. We've probably got another five hours of this and uh, we'll be at Deal Island. We could go to Hogan, we'll be out this way somewhere. I can't even see it, pretty low-lying uh, group of islands, but there's not much protection there. We're gonna head all the way to Deal, so that's um, our project for today. Good to see the sun out. It was pretty miserable uh, in refuge, unfortunately. Uh, very overcast and damp, so uh, we only got one good morning there really where we could get out and have a bit of a hike and a bit of an explore. So anyway, we'll get down to deal. We'll probably spend a couple of nights there and then skip across to Flinders while we've got the wind from the right direction. So that's the plan, but uh, pretty well in the middle of Bass Strait now and it's not too bad. What's there, Stel? What? What was there? I hope you've enjoyed that episode. Next week we'll take you for a look around Deal Island and then a trip across to Flinders.